And it was in this moment that she knew that she had fucked up. No. Ah, shit. I had this bright idea to create something I've never made before, and I've posted up paintings of evolved versions of this cake painting, but I wanted to show you where it all started. I had a hankering for making cake paintings that were embellished with thick 3D textured strawberries and cream, all made out of paint because of my trip to Japan in January of 2024. If I had a dollar for the amount of cute, creamy strawberry cakes I saw in Japan, I'd be a zillionaire. With my creativity in mind and a can-do attitude, I was determined to make this vision come to life. Keep watching for the entire process and I'll tell you in the end what I think I could have changed to make this painting better and how I applied it to another painting I made after. Will this video change your life? Maybe. Will it entertain you and uplift your spirits? Absolutely. Angle change. I'm gonna do something a little fun with this. Something crazy. We're gonna make some cream. I'm gonna squeeze this in. It's so thick. She thick. Oh. I'm gonna grab some of the colors that I already have on my palette. And I think that'll just make the art look a little bit more cohesive. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that yellow. And I mixed in a little bit of that burnt sienna. Just like a tinge. It's not gonna completely change the color, but it's not gonna make it so white that it looks like, I don't know. Like, I don't want it to look like snow, if that makes sense. See how it's like, it's more of an off-white. It's not pure white. And I kind of want to whip some air into it. It's whipped cream. It's not cream. This is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. I'm like convincing myself like it's not gonna be fun. This is fun, okay? I have my piping tips here. I have a piping bag. Piping tip in here. I'm putting this on and I'm screwing it on. Ah! <laughs> so now I could interchange the tips because I don't wanna have to make two bags. Now I'm gonna put the cream in or the paint. It's not cream. It's paint. You know what I realized? Painting is my diet. I don't like saying the word diet. I've been training clients for like eight years now. The word diet just seems so um, daunting. Feels a little uh, restrictive. And if you've read into diet culture, a lot of it can be very mentally unhealthy. But I say diet. That's what people are familiar with. This is my diet because it helps me not think about food all the time, which is ironic because I'm making food art, but it makes me not obsess over food in a way where, like, if you give me too much free time, I'm going to keep thinking about my next meal over and over again, and I'm going to go out to a grocery store. Like, I will make it happen. I'm going to try to get as many snacks as possible and then feel guilty about it and it's a very unhealthy cycle and i hope you make art so that it i don't know it's just so therapeutic like it, art has definitely made me a healthier person the healthier you are mentally the better things events people come to you because you're attracting that right okay so now i have all my cream in here Look at that dill. It's so, it looks so good. And we're gonna get to the fun part. I'm gonna lay down the cream. There's cream here. Kind of just following along the edge of the cake. I kind of want that shadow to peek out still. <gasps> Pretty. And then you have cream peeking out the edge right here. And there's a strawberry there. There's more cream here. There's a big dollop of cream. And I'm making room for the strawberries. And then I'm going to make more here to follow along the edge. Dude, this looks so good. I'm going to smooth this out. 
And I kind of want it hanging off the edge. And guess what? Guess what? I'm going to put a strawberry in here. Before I put my strawberry down, I'm going to pipe on some cream here. This is so exhilarating. I had this image in my head and it's finally, it's coming to life. Putting more cream down. She resting in there. This one's a good looking one. She's gonna lay down sideways. I'm gonna exchange this tip for a different tip. And I'm gonna use the star tip. Some here that's peeking out. And there's more here that's speaking out. You guys, this is making me so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. At first I was worried about perspective, but then again, I realized I have a weird looking, like a flattened piece of strawberry. I'm gonna lay it down here and I'm gonna paint it yellow white and then I'll pipe on some green for leaves. I'll place it right here. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I think because it's going so well. I'm gonna make a really pale yellow. And I kind of want the holes to peek through like that. It's kind of freaking me out. Trypophobia. Vermilion. So it blends into the rest of the strawberry because the top of the strawberry, I notice like it slowly blends in to the red. But wait, there's more. I am gonna pipe on leaves. I have some green that I've had before. No. Ah, shit! Remember when I was nervous because it was going so well? Okay, we could fix this. Scoop that out. Not everything is fixable. We're gonna make that part of the leaf, okay? We're gonna make it work. So I'm doing the tip out first because it's sharper. Okay, this is so nerve-wracking. Ah! I want to make a pit on where the leaf starts here. Okay, it's cream here. This weird one. So it's going to be peeking from under the cream. More cream on. There's another strawberry lying down on its side like this. But it's a little hidden by the cream. Hiding under the cream. I think that's all the strawberries I want to add to my cake. Under the cream here. You know what? I don't like how this is looking, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to put like my very dark red there. I wish I could have just left it like this because I did too much after this. It's okay though, this is all a learning lesson. That's why I wanted to share this with you guys, that every painting process or art process, any life process is gonna go through ups and downs and some regrets. It's part of my story. It's not that serious. And here's the final painting. As promised, here are the things I would change. First, I wanna add leaves on all of the strawberries except for the cut open strawberries. It could give the painting more variety and contrast. Second, I wouldn't have covered the ground in cream. It was a bit much, I got too excited, and I preferred the solid painted surface I had before. Third, I wouldn't have covered the cake layers too much with cream. Can you see a theme here? But in my later versions of this painting, I separated the cake layers way more, so I had more freedom with the cream. In another version, I created a three-tiered cake that exposed the tops of each layer, making the cake's layers stand out more with a piped cream. 
Who knows how my next cake painting will look? In the meantime, I will work on the process video of that three-tiered cake, but while you're here, check this out.